I am so excited. I'm sitting here behind the Troubadour in West Hollywood, California, about to interview Scott Hutchinson from one of my favorite bands of all time, Frightened Rabbit. They're from Scotland. There he is! All hey, right. man! How you doing? I am well. It's good to see you. Good to see you, man. Let's do Should it. I get in the van? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Get in. Yep. What? Okay. Uh, that's just... They're Scottish. Take a sip from your soul On a metaphysical milkshake Hi, Scott. Hi, Rain. How are you? I'm very well. Where do you want to go today? You know, I haven't been home for a while. Okay, home it is. Where's that? Is that your, is that your bedroom? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, that's my bedroom in Edinburgh. It's where myself... And I Actually, I live with a guy called David Byrne. Do you really? Yeah. He's not... Not the David No, Byrne. no, I, kind of, I think that would be awkward. He's much more sociable than so I would imagine. A, you have a roommate? Yeah. You're like a rock star, and you have a roommate? Oh, right, yeah, Rockstars yeah. Rockstars aren't supposed to have roommates. Are they supposed to have, oh, like, like comfortable bachelor pads where... Yes. Uh, yeah, there are, like, lots of televisions and there's pornography running exactly, the entire time. Yeah. Well, there is pornography running the entire time. Okay. But this... <laughs> Did you have uh, kind of questionable hippie vans in the 70s in Scotland, too? Yeah, absolutely. I actually, yeah. I have a friend who has one now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He gets a lot of great looks, like, like kids clap it in the street and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, he's got like an old it must VW be thing. really boring isn't in Scotland. <laughs> Kids are really, clapping vans. That is really desperate, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so pathetic. That does not reflect well on your culture. Why are you guys called Frightened Rabbit? When I was younger, much younger, I didn't really enjoy talking to other kids. Mm. Like strange kids anyway. You know, I had a couple of friends and we got along fine. But you know, you know when you have to go to a party with your with your parents and you have to socialize with your parents, friends, children, rather mm -hmm. than, it's like, these are not my friends. Right, right. They're your friends as kids and they're actually, they, they, they bully me at school. So I would just sit in the corner, kind of terrified. There we go, like mm -hmm. a rabbit, like look on my face. Here it is. So that's that, it. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, your yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's yeah, see let's it. get let's that. Let's see it again. Now you're putting it on and what would it really Oh, okay, be like? was that too much? That was more like shock. It was genuinely just rocking back and forth, sort of wide eyed. Wow. Wow. No, it was, a, it, was a, it was a problem. I had to do two years of kindergarten instead of uh, one. It still, it still occurs to me in certain situations, I sort of uh, freeze up. So how did that transition work from shy guy to performing gigs, and how has it evolved into who you are right now? I went to art school. I, I kind of had ambitions to just be an artist, so I was drawing all the time. First performance in Glasgow, I was, you know, strong-armed into it by a friend who had heard me play songs in my, you know, my dorm room at, at college. And mm -hmm. he was like, you're doing this. So uh, I went up and uh, immediately something weird, it was a c comfort zone or something whereby I, d I didn't feel shy. I didn't feel uh, ill at ease anymore. I felt completely, you know, happy there. You know, I think that's one of the reasons why musicians do what they do is because they have trouble you know, c communicating elsewhere. You know, there's all this stuff that perhaps is stored up. And it can only come out through music. Right. Or through lyrics and through songs. Well, it's true. I think there's an energy that we bring that is often unexpected, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, there's 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 a, a whole lot of sweat. You're the sweatiest I band. Need to, I, yeah, we are. Since, yeah. like, Motley Crue. Right. That's yeah. a great... I'm going to use that. That's sweatiest okay. band can since I Motley Crue? <laughs> Could that be on the sticker on the front of the CDs? It's, exactly. Yeah, it will be. Dab on my... Good? Good. Boom. Life's big questions. Lightning round. What paralyzes your creativity? Uh, sleep. What fuels it? Heartache. What's one emotion that you have you wish you had better control of? Maybe love, you know, falling for. Wrong. Anger. Sure. What's your life's big question? Does what you do in life matter after, or, or should it not really just matter now, rather than mm -hmm. some th try, somehow trying to save up brownie points? You've talked before about happiness. You find happiness when you're performing, yeah, and you find happiness through success. It's not like about an upward trajectory. For mm -hmm. me, it's about uh, a creative one and feeling like we're never stagnating. I mean, I feel like for me as an actor, I may have peaked in terms of my popularity. Right. Uh, I got a chance to do a bunch of movies, yep. and The Office was a big hit several years ago, yep. and now it's kind of waning, and this has been, been done, and my fame may come to an end, but that's okay, because yeah. I didn't get into it for the fame. No. I got into it to be an artist, yeah. 
to be an actor, yeah. to get to do cool things and work with cool people and tell stories and express myself in cool ways. So, and the places that you're going from there are, you know, could, could almost be infinitely more exciting because yeah. they're, they're your choices. Does happiness come in other ways? You've talked about happiness coming in performing. You do need to find a way to replace with the in intense happiness that you find on tour. For me, I have to try and almost go the opposite direction and I do a lot of, you know, nothing. Uh, wandering the streets there. I find happiness in routine when I'm back as well. It's, it's a really attractive thing to me is like having something that I do uh, every day, whether it be just like going for a coffee, it's like something you don't get the opportunity to do when you're on tour. So Scott Hutchinson of Frightened Rabbit has said that he is happiest when he's on stage. He's happiest when he's wandering the streets of Edinburgh at night in a routine, having a coffee at a regular place. Where are you the happiest? Can you tell us in a video and Scott and I will watch the videos or write it down in the comments below? Scott? Yeah. Let's touch beards. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Let's intertwine them. Soap and Cake, subscribe!